Morning, everybody. Finn, say hi to everybody. Hi. <laughs> Finn, do you have any pets? I have a pet, and it's Casey, and, 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 um, Casey died. Casey died. Yeah, that's right. Casey did die. Um, do you have any pets at home, guys? We're going to wait for them to answer, okay? Well, Finn, how did we take care of Casey? What did we do for her? You don't know. You don't remember how we fed her and gave her food and yes, water? I do. Oh, you do? And did she have a bed that she slept in inside our house? It was mom and daddy's, but we, but we, we didn't like her when, when, we, when Casey was in the bed because, because what, what would happen if we didn't have a bed? Well, all of that's true. And, you know, we helped her with the bathroom when she had to go outside. To yep, and Mama liked her when she sleeps in the bed, but Daddy didn't. Those are all true things. And you know what else? The most important thing for Casey is that we played with her. Remember how she liked to get the ball and go swim in the water? Yep. That, that's true. And if we called her... Casey would always come to us because she was our. Because she was our um. Because she was, I don't know. She was our dog. She knew us. She would come to us because she knew us, and probably because she wanted food or something to eat. Yep. And she, but most importantly, she knew that we loved her and that we cared about her. I just scratched my. I just scratched myself on my hair. I know. In a tiny way, this is a little bit like being a shepherd. Finn, do you know what a shepherd does? What? <laughs> well, a shepherd is responsible for taking care of sheep. Finn had to take a little break. But as I was saying, shepherds are people who take care of sheep. And there are some people who are shepherds now, like this man. But there were times in the Bible when there were even more of them. In fact, it was one of the most common things to do. And the shepherd would guide the sheep where they could find grass to eat and water to drink and a place to rest. But sheep are not always very smart, but they learn how to follow their shepherd. They will know when he is talking to them and follow along, recognizing that he will lead them to good things. If a wolf or a bear tries to come <clears throat> to attack the flock, the shepherd must protect his sheep and be willing to fight off the predator. And sometimes the sheep, the shepherd even acts as a door. See, when they bring the sheep into a pen through the little gateway, the shepherd would sometimes lay across the gateway and he would sleep there. That way, if an animal or something that was trying to hurt the sheep was going to get them, they would have to go through the shepherd first. That's why he is the gateway. <clears throat> well, in the Gospel of John, which is what we're reading from today, Jesus compared himself to a shepherd. He said that he was the gate. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And anyone else who tries to say that they are the way, they are tricking you. We are like sheep. We wander around and we need guidance. But we can trust Jesus to provide for us and to protect us. He said that a good shepherd would lay down his life for the sheep. That means he would die to protect the sheep. And you know what? That's exactly what Jesus did. <clears throat> we can trust his promises and rejoice that our shepherd has rescued us from sin and death. We can listen to his voice through prayer, reading the Bible, and discernment. And we know that he cares. Each of us is precious in God's eyes, and we can rest assured that he listens to us when we call to him and gives us life. That is a blessing, and we should thank God for that. So let's pray. Dear God, thank you for being the good shepherd. Help us to listen for your voice and to follow you and trust you. We know that you will guide us and protect us. Thank you for caring about us. Thank you for your love. 
We love you, God, in Jesus' name. Amen.